What's up? How are you guys? Another Sunday evening, filming a vlog for you guys for Frankie's Free Range Meat. Most of you saw it last week, we had a little conniption with all the harassment and everything, the negative reviews, all that type of stuff, and we like sat down and spoke about it. But uh, I don't like focusing on the negative stuff as long as you guys continue to place orders and support us. Hey, maybe we'll eventually get a lawyer on retainer and won't have to deal with this nonsense ourselves. Uh, a few new things this week. Uh, new steak salt I'm excited to show you guys. We got cotton candy grape sorbet. Uh, we have a pet food with eggs, which I still have to put on the website, which I haven't spoken about yet. And we also got a few different types of butter available. So we're going to show you guys all that. Uh, I did have to uh, take out a line of credit to deal with a lot of the negative stuff and also um, and also get a few things that were necessary since the freezer failing. And I guess for a change of pace, we, we can show you guys that stuff. I've also been trying to get a few things at auction to try to resell it, make a little money, but it's not, never doing this again. But let me show you guys what we got. So out front here, we were renting a forklift like $1,000 a month, we rented it for a month that we needed to do random stuff and like load the reefers up and it was pretty useful overall. That forklift rental company actually had an older Toyota, uh, this is actually the company, that they sold us and uh, it was about $5,000 which for any used forklift that even works in today's market is a steal, you know? Compared to having to spend thirty-five, forty thousand dollars on a new forklift, or you know, closer to ten or fifteen thousand on a used forklift, it's been serviced. It runs good. It's a little loud and a little beat up, but for what we need, this is perfect. So we basically have our own forklift, which I was also using to uh, take out a few things back here. Uh, I got these two used Chevy trucks I was going to use for plowing, but I'm probably just going to resell them. And we got a big old generator back there too. Uh, it's wrapped up in tarp, so maybe we'll show you guys that another day. Yeah, I was basically on this government auction site and this stuff was so cheap that I wanted to just buy it and resell it, but in hindsight, like, I don't have the capital to have that money tied up. Even though it's like a few thousand dollars per item, I just, I need to get rid of this stuff and sell it as soon as possible, which isn't really that easy because like the trucks, I need to fix them take it to the mechanic, take it to the body shop, whole bunch of nonsense. So I'm not going to do this again, probably. But there, the reason I bought that stuff at the auction was because there are a few other interesting things that I thought were pretty applicable to the health stuff. So these air purifiers were pretty cheap. I thought they were new, but they're used, barely. Uh, so these I'm just going to vacuum, clean them up a bit, and uh, probably list these on eBay. So if you guys want some very high quality UV air purifiers for an affordable price, I think I'm probably only gonna sell them for like 200 or 250 each. I'm not sure what I paid for them, but these new are like $1,000 each. So, you know, for what you're getting, UV air filtration, it's not gonna be a better price. Uh, I'll probably list these and uh, I'll have to clean them up as I sell them. Over here, we got something else special, uh, which is an oxygen generator. I'll show that last because I'm gonna talk about that one the most. And here we just got some really high def security cameras. I was gonna use these for my business, but uh, I think we're just gonna try to resell them. I think brand new, these are like 1600 each. Auction, we obviously got a, a good deal for a pallet of them, but I think we're just gonna list them on eBay and see what we can get for them. Uh, this is like, you know, if, if a camera company was installing these, they'd charge you a fortune. So uh, just really, really high definition. Uh, cameras. I, I was going to use them for my business. That's why I bought them. You know, a few thousand dollars for this pallet, but uh, I didn't realize that it has like an ethernet wire and the wiring camera system for my current building. I'd have to rewire the whole building, you know. I thought I could just swap these cameras in instead of the old ones, but I can't. So we're probably just going to try to resell these and make our money back, which we should be able to. And this is something pretty special. Uh, we have, I don't know, maybe 20 or 30 of these, is an oxygen generator. So if you guys, you know, in the hospital, you know when you, the people have the tubes going to their nose to give them oxygen, that's kind of what this is. Um, but it's a portable version. So these are all brand new military surplus oxygen generators. This is the actual oxygen generator itself. These are batteries, I believe. And this is to, this is to charge the batteries. And I'm guessing maybe this plug up here is to maybe 
plug it in and run it when you have a power source. And then in here is the actual canula, which is the, um, the hose that goes to your nose. So what an oxygen generator does is it takes the CO, well, you know, the, the air in the environment is oxygen plus CO2 plus a bunch of other stuff. So it takes the air in the environment and concentrates it to oxygen and delivers it to your nose. I actually sleep with one of these. Now I have a regular, I have a regular medical one I got my hands on, but these are kind of hard to get and they're, they're not cheap. Um, so we're probably going to sell these for, I don't know, maybe around 250 or 300 each. Um, so you guys can use them and sleep with them. And like, hey, in the case of an emergency, if there's really bad air quality, you turn this on and hook this up. So this is not something that like sick people or hospitalized people should only be using. Having higher quality oxygen, especially with all the crap they spray in the air, is very, very important. So I thought this was really cool to be able to buy these. And if any of you guys wanted them, or I could try to sell them, or just, who knows, never sell them. But since these were new and they came in this, uh, you know, pretty nice package, and, and for that price, uh, for the price that I'm gonna sell these for, you know, a regular oxygen generator is over $1,000. And uh, something poor, I don't know what these sell for new. I think these are also over $1,000 new. So these aren't actually cheap. And I'll probably do a separate video on that and talk more about that. But like when I sleep in my bed canopy, I have the oxygen generator outside of the canopy and I have the hose running inside and then I put it on my face. So. You know, if the air quality is not that great, if they're spraying stuff in the air, or even if just the air quality in my room isn't that great, like probably for the past few years, sometimes I'll wake up with shortness of breath just because of the poor air quality. I need to open a window or run a dehumidifier or run an air filter. Ever since I started using an oxygen generator, I've never had a problem breathing at night. So having the, the quality concentrated oxygen in your nose is really important. And you don't even necessarily have to put the tubes in your nose, you kind of just put them near your nose. So it's blowing some higher quality oxygen near your face. So that's probably the most important thing we got that I'm actually interested in selling you guys. The air filters too. Uh, so I'm gonna list the oxygen generators and the air filters on my eBay account, which I will link down below. And then if there's the other stuff you guys are interested in, you can check that out too. What I also bought, which they only sold for a few hundred bucks, and this thing's huge, this is 60,000 BTU air conditioner. And I saw inside, it's brand new, it's not used. Like everything's in plastic, all the hoses are wrapped up. So I'm gonna see if my uh, HVAC guy can install this somewhere. If not, I'll probably resell them. But you get burned a little too. I bought this refrigerator for my guys to put their food in, but uh, it's not working. <laughs> so I don't know what's wrong with it. Uh, it's probably not worth assessing because it was only like 40 bucks. Um, but 40 bucks for a broken refrigerator is just uh, you losing $40 if it's not working. Yeah, so I've mainly been buying stuff I thought I would need on the business. Like those trucks were for plowing snow in the winter, but I've come to realize that I'm not going to pay insurance monthly on those trucks. It's too much money. So I'm just going to resell them. And, and like the car flipping business and that stuff, it's way too involved. It's not worth it. It's too competitive. Um, that generator I bought, I was planning on using for this building. It was way, it was way too cheap but I'll see if we can get it running and, uh, and then probably just resell it because I think the electrical work just to hook up that generator is gonna be too much. So hopefully in a month or two, we just flip this stuff and get rid of it and then I stop with the auction nonsense. But um, yeah, I thought those auction generators were cool and I thought the air filters were you know, good to give you guys a good deal or even use them myself. Um, so we'll see how that goes. So on the Foods website, we have pretty much everything kind of running low. Uh, I told you guys about the new Pemmican recipe. Definitely let me know how you guys are liking that. I think you guys bought most of them already. Uh, what we haven't had for a little while that we just restocked is the meat granola. So if you guys are enjoying that, we got some. Almost forgot to show you guys. One of the new products this week is Frankie's New York City style steak seasoning, which is basically just salt and pepper, but it's our high quality purified sea salt and it's freshly ground organic black pepper, and it's the perfect ratio for seasoning. So a little blurb on here about how, you know, when I used to work in some steakhouses as a waiter, I kind of saw what the chefs were doing, and this is kind of that typical, like, steakhouse flavor that you'll get. So if you want to put this on steaks or burgers, you know, a thin layer on all of it, and, uh, you know, you won't have to grind up the salt or pepper yourself. 
and you'll have the perfect ratio, perfect amount for this. So I've been putting this on like a burger and then I'll put the steak sauce on afterwards. But I, I really like that black pepper flavor once in a while. So if you're craving it, this is nice. Change of pace. Uh, let me know how you guys like it. Over here on Oregon Supplements, I've been showing you guys every week. We have the free collagen with every order still available. And also, if you spend like 70 bucks, we'll give you the free collagen as well as a free uh, kind of kratom. So in addition to all you know those new products we're offering like the zinc complex magnesium complex multivitamin multimineral we got k2 d3 we got the natural probiotic so we got a whole bunch of new stuff on organ supplements if you guys haven't checked it out and we also got some really nice free promotions you know you only have to spend forty dollars and you get this free college in which honestly is probably at least a $40 value for what everyone else is selling, like grass-fed, high-quality collagen for. Past few weeks, we've kind of been trying to liquidate all the old products on the naturals. Uh, I'm going to see if I can get all my new stuff in. I was showing you guys these uh, these new boxes the other week, but I think it's still going to be like a month or two, uh, probably closer to a month and a half, two months, before we even get any of the new stuff, so I'm not going to talk about it too much. Oh, yeah, the other big thing on the organ supplements was we've restocked the thyroid powders and the male virility powders which we were sold out of for a little while. And we also restocked the uh, Cavity Cure Concentrate on the, on the Naturals website. Clay shampoo too. Got the clay shampoo back. So in the fridge, we got all our fresh raw A282 dairy ready to ship out to you guys. Cow's milk, sheep's milk. We got all the fresh eggs ready to go. All the dairy products are restocked. Yogurt, heavy cream, cream cheese, sour cream, cottage cheese. We got some sheep yogurt. The main thing restocked is raw butter. Uh, we've been sold out and you guys have been having a hard time getting it. So this is one of the containers we have available. This is unsalted, eight ounces. We also restocked the pickles. This is pickle juice. And here are the lacto-fermented garlic dill pickles. Really delicious, we get a lot of good reviews for these. Got the beef blood restocked, just a small amount of chicken fat left, and we got some kefir grains here. This is the natural probiotic, we keep it in the fridge for you guys. Didn't have time over the weekend, but we're gonna try to make a garlic herb butter for you guys. So you can just kind of buy it and use it with everything. Uh, thyme, rosemary, and garlic, gonna be really delicious and convenient. So over here we have a new type of ham. Uh, this is called speck which is basically just smoked prosciutto. So a little different flavor profile and it's uh, a lot more affordable. Uh, this is like $8 for, I think my guys did two ounces on this. I thought they did four. Stop playing games and weigh it. It is four ounces. So we got four ounces of that ham. A bit more affordable than the prosciutto. And over here is all that other stuff. We got the beef pastrami, smoked brisket, beef bacon, and pork bacon. So we've been selling the raw unsalted butter for a few years now, but since our farmer couldn't keep up the demand, we've actually found a few other suppliers that have given us more options for you guys. So now we have salted, unsalted, as well as cultured butter, three options available. Uh, these are one pound blocks available on the website. So if you guys have been waiting to restock on butter or you just wanted some other options, uh, we have these now available. Let us know how you like them. If it's salty enough, if it's too salty, how the cultured flavor is. But I'm glad we were able to restock this and get this for you guys. Now I've been cold in this freezer all day, so we're just gonna show you guys the sorbet. So here we have our other new product, cotton candy grape sorbet, our second flavor in addition to our organic lemon sorbet, which are made with the highest quality organic fruits, glass bottled mineral water, and organic glucose, which is the healthiest sugar. So Really special, really unique product. We'll get out of the freezer and I'll talk about this more. Yeah, so I've been having that sorbet. It's super delicious. Literally tastes like cotton candy. And as with the lemon sorbet, like we're still critiquing the recipe, like it's still absolutely amazing and delicious. Uh, the lemon sorbet, although it's better than the first batch, uh, we might reduce the amount of lemon a little more. I'm not really sure. I don't think it has to be adjusted. Uh, the cotton candy sorbet, it was a little icy, kind of like normal sorbet but with the lemon sorbet, we were able to achieve a really smooth texture. I think we need to increase the sugar content of the cotton candy sorbet. It wasn't, wasn't like super sweet. So we're just gonna maybe next batch, see if we could make the texture less icy, but there's a chance that 
Uh, that's just how it is because of the type of fruit we're using and we're only using natural ingredients. I'm not 100% sure on that. Uh, in regards to actual like meat restocks this week, uh, we got a shipment of chicken in. Uh, we showed you guys the other restocks in the fridge, the beef blood, the egg whites, the smoked ham, the speck. We got some more bone broth as well in the freezer. Um, but yeah, outside of that and the chicken restocks and the butter, we got some organ grind back in and something new, which I didn't show you guys in the freezer. It looks kind of the same as the regular pet food, but uh, we have egg pet food. So my egg farmer had too many extra eggs and he just like threw them in a machine that kind of crushes them and extracts the liquid. And my butcher took that and mixed it with the animal organs for pet food. So uh, compared to the regular pet food that we sell, this is probably like more balanced and more nutritious because of the eggs, the high cholesterol content, the choline, probably really good for like uh, omega-3s and a little more variety in the animal's diet. So we're going to charge a little more for that pet food and that's going to be uh, another pet food option if you guys want that. But uh, yeah, I think that's, uh, I think that's kind of everything I want to show you guys. So we'll just sit down and read some reviews. We got a five-star review for the Third Eye Glandular. This is on organsupplements.com. Great for meditation. The glandular powders from Organ Supplements are so much better than every other company I've tried on Amazon. This one in particular is so special because of the cognitive, calming, and meditative benefits it brings. Breathing exercises after taking a dose of this are next level. Uh, then we got a review for the Pemmican. Strangely satisfying. Was not expecting it to feel so much like a cookie, albeit a very strange cookie. I will say that on the trail, it alone satisfied a profound hunger and gave me energy for hours with no crash. I would suggest handling it as little as possible during activity. Having it in a waste pocket with other items being taken out frequently, it did get easily mushed and made for sticky fingers. All in all, a great choice for long, strenuous hikes. Yeah, we have by far the most affordable, legitimate pemmican online. Non-perishable doesn't have to be refrigerated. I've got a five-star view for the Pure Ocean Sea Salt. Family loves this salt. I don't know where you get this stuff, but it's high quality, that's for sure. Better than any other salts I've tried locally. Another organ supplements review for the antioxidant support. Special product. If you look at the ingredients on this supplement, you'll find this nowhere else. Amazing and underrated. Yeah, because those powders are prohibitively expensive, and we don't really sell that much, so... Lesson learned. I don't think I've made my money back yet. More organ supplements reviews. Five stars for the male virility. Frank, what do you think about mega dosing the supplement before the gym? Uh, have you tried it? Yeah, I mean, if, there's like a threshold, but you could take a decent amount. I mean, if you're just taking half a scoop to one scoop, that should be fine. I never really tried taking a crazy amount. We got a five star review for the organic potato chips. These are on FrankieSyrianFoods.com. Great potato chips. Not much to say other than they taste great. I think these might be the first potato chips I've ever come across with tallow, fried with tallow, and I will definitely be purchasing more in the future. Yeah, we still have the coconut oil and the tallow chips, although we don't really sell them that quickly because, like, even though we're doing it at the cheapest price possible, like this Amish guy charges me too much to make them, and uh, we don't, we're kind of shadow banned and censored, so we don't exactly have, like, a gigantic reach for anyone that would be willing to pay that much for high-quality potato chips. And we got a five-star view for the Iberico ham. A nice treat for special occasions. Almost blue cheesy with how nutty it is. A great gift for your bougiest friends. Yeah, well, with the price we're charging for that, it's not super bougie. Uh, more Iberico pork reviews for the sausage. Delicious. I've cooked these for many people without mentioning exactly what I'm making. These Iberico sausage always earn unprompted comments on how tasty they are. Both the plain and breakfast varieties are worth trying. My personal favorite breakfast now is one or two of these sausages, sourdough and kimchi and sauerkraut. Yeah, sounds delicious. Uh, we got a review for the meat granola, which is back in stock now, I showed you guys. I was skeptical of the concept at first, but it works. Another genius product from Frankie. Uh, sadly, my old berries plus yogurt routine feels bland without it. Need to restock, please. Yeah, we, we haven't been selling a lot, but I, I did decide to restock it for you guys. Then we got a review for the organic jarred honey crisp apples. These are on the foods website as well. Can't seem to order enough of these. Not exactly proud of the fact that I can take down a 24 ounce jar of them in one sitting. And since the liquid they're in is basically Mountain Valley apple juice, that disappears too. Perfectly, mildly sweet, and refreshing. Yeah, they could, they could, maybe we'll put a little more in there next time, a little more 
Foxtros. We got a five star view for the organic garlic dill pickles. Best pickles I've ever had. They fizz up like a soda for a little bit of theater upon first opening. Only problem is my girlfriend finished the whole jar in less than 15 minutes. Didn't even get a chance to make something with them. Please restock. Yep, we got both the granola and the pickles back on the foods website. And we got a review for the Swiss Appenzeller cheese. Outstanding. Can't believe how good this Appenzeller tastes. I have a steady supply from the local grocery store, but this stuff blows that out of the water. Every time I think I have a favorite cheese, a new one is introduced at Frankie's Strange Meat. That makes me think twice. I've got to have more of this. Uh, and then we got a nice email from someone. Best meat I've ever had. My first order from Frankie's Meats was excellent experience. Everything arrived to me across the country still frozen and well packaged. The quality and taste of all the meats is superb and probably the best I've ever purchased. The roast beef, beef bacon, and the best burger blend. I've never tasted meat this excellent. I've also purchased the organic beef tallow and raw ghee butter Frankie offers in his store. It's so superior to what's sold in the markets, making other brands seem like garbage. The raw ghee is so good it will be replacing my butter. Frankie, you have the most impressive meat market online by far. I'm thrilled to become a regular customer who has a lot of respect and appreciation for what you've created and perfected. Thanks for the free ribeye steaks. Very generous. Uh, she, and she said a little more. Thank you very much. Uh, so um, that reminds me there are a few things I forgot to mention in this video. Uh, we're still doing free strip steaks. I think, I mean, by the time you guys see this video, it's probably going to be over. Like today, the day this video is posting might be the last day we have enough. Uh, two free 12 ounce New York strip steaks with your order. So that's a pound and a half of meat for free. We also have at checkout uh, a promotion that we've been doing where you can get two ribeyes for $33, which is like 25% off the regular store price. So we have just like a ton of affordable discounts right now like you're getting so much free stuff and you're paying so little it's like probably half the price of all the other websites online uh, in regards to new stuff uh, maybe just some restocks this week uh, we might be expanding the sorbet selection in two or three weeks i think we might do uh, orange sorbet and then maybe an apple sorbet as well perhaps lime i'm not really sure but uh, i, I kind of like the idea of expanding on the italian ice flavors and see, as long as you guys buy them um, I'm willing to make them. So we got that going. The steak salt is something new this week. We got the smoked ham. That's new. Uh, we showed you guys the new butters that are available. New butter selection. Uh, but yeah, see, we'll see what happens over the next week or two. I got to uh, stop messing around with this auction nonsense because I really don't have the time or patience to do this. Uh, but yeah, if you guys want any of that stuff, I'll, I'll throw it up on eBay. Uh, I'll put in the name. I'll put in the name of the stuff. So yeah, I mean, you guys will be able to look up and see how much more it actually costs online. So I'm giving you guys a good deal if any of you want that stuff for air quality, air filtration, or um, or just oxygen generator. I I think personally, I think everyone should be sleeping with those oxygen generators. And if you don't have air filters in your house already, those are going to be the best bang for your buck because. Uh, for that price, you're not going to get UV. For that price, on like regular air filters, if you want to spend two or three hundred, it's not going to have the UV filtration in it. Yeah, it's just I don't I don't know what I was thinking with that auction stuff. Like I, I thought I could use the stuff and didn't realize how much was involved in it. Um, like I'm I'm taking these car batteries out. I don't have ratchet extended. Like any time I go to do something, it's like way more involved than I initially thought I was. Um, so we'll probably just kind of sell that stuff, liquidate it, and make sure we don't uh, get into any more nonsense. Because I'm already ha having trouble and spending too much time. Like every day, I'm I'm going up in this freezer and and defrosting these evaporators. I uh, have a lot of stuff to just kind of try to fix and maintain on my own here. Uh, so doing that extra auction stuff, try to make some money. It doesn't uh, doesn't seem like it's 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 worth it. We'll do a little more work and uh, go home and eat lunch, but. Uh, Outside of that, thank you guys for joining me today. As always with every week, new stuff, things you guys can check out. frank stefancom has the meat website, the foods website, organ supplements, Wi-Fi shielding, Frankie's Naturals. I, th I think we're going to uh, start having some tomatoes, canned tomatoes, jarred tomatoes, and uh, maybe cauliflower coming soon as well from the Amish farm. So I'm kind of looking forward to that. And uh, maybe a few other new things. <laughs> I guess I'm not looking forward to it because anytime we do these jarred vegetables, they kind of just, they don't sell that quickly and I'm kind of going broke. Um, but it, it, they're very unique and special products and I think some people might really enjoy them. So we'll do it anyway. 
and uh, you guys, some of you guys are talking trash. Uh, the fire extinguisher exploded in my car yesterday and I made a short on it. And you guys were making fun of me for driving a 2009 Honda CRV. Guys, I, I, when I say I'm broke, I actually mean it. Like those Chevy trucks I bought, super low mileage, a few thousand dollars each like 30, 40,000 miles. So I got a really good price on them and I can resell them probably for like 10,000 each, but I was planning on using them myself and then I can't, aff can't afford the car insurance. So I will just have to resell them. Uh, maybe just keep one, one something as a backup because I don't have a backup vehicle yet. But um, yeah, if you guys, you guys support the businesses, you guys support everything, you know the money's going in the right place to make sure that uh, we can provide you guys with the highest quality, most affordable stuff. Hopefully stick it out a little longer and uh, can start doing everything on my own. And I think uh, if you guys think what I'm doing now is special, and and this is the reason I keep going for you guys, um, the other ideas I have and the stuff I want to do in the future I think is going to be uh, really amazing and kind of something that no one has ever done in history for that matter. So hopefully we make it there.